Привет, слава Украине! Welcome back, guys, to the Minecraft Military Force. Today, we're going to be building the Mil Me 24. This is the hind attack helicopter nicknamed the Flying Tank by Soviet pilots. It's currently in use in 58 countries like Russia, Ukraine, Poland, etc. And the one we're building today specifically is from the Ukrainian ground forces. This is the Mil Me 24P, and that is the hind F which is the gunship version of it. They basically replaced the 12.7 millimeter machine gun here in the middle with a side mounted 30 millimeter twin barrel auto cannon so it is more heavily duty. Another characteristic of this is the two white bands on the tail and this is just some Ukrainian markings. I think they go way back since uh, 2014 at least in the war in the Donbass but they still use it to this day. But since Russia also uses the Mi-24 and they painted with three white stripes so that was a little bit confusing so I guess that's why they put a bunch of Ukrainian flags on the sides. So there's actually one here in the front, another one here on the side, another one here, another one here, another one on the wing, and of course on the other side, you know, the same thing. Let's arm with rocket pods on the side, and there also is this external fuel drop tank next to it, painted in white. The Mi-24 is also a troop transport or a cargo carrier, so this part can actually open up. As you can see at the interior, this door does open up so it can pick up pilots who are stranded and did you know emergency landings they can pick them up and give them evac as for the other details we have this airflow sensor right here it's like a pole sticking out we got the engines over here and the back we have it is infrared suppression unit there's also subtle camouflage with you know gray blots um all around with the green then blue on the underside of it and here on the tail we got this thing that goes down and you can see the tail rotor and I was inspired to do this one specifically because I watched this video by United24 about the Mi-8 and Mi-24 helicopters being missions to the Adostal Iron and Steelworks plant where there was the last Ukrainian resistance in Mariupol. So they basically carry medical supplies, ammunition, and evacuate troops using this helicopter. I actually filmed this tutorial before but I wasn't quite satisfied with it so I did want to work more on the design. So the one in actually the Hell March video is much closer to this one but I did modify a bit using like bamboo just to get that color right but yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this build and recently i got a comment saying why i'm building russian vehicles like the t90m which i did before and that they're going to unsubscribe if you've been watching my channel long enough you probably will know that i support ukraine i'm not really for russia just because i make a russian vehicle does not mean i support russia okay i mean you can use it for a multitude of things like destroying it capturing it just admiring the engineering itself just like how we build world war ii german stuff of course i don't support Hitler or anything like that. So I hope that clears things up. But uh, anyways, let's get started on the tutorial. Alrighty, so for this tutorial, it's going to require eight steps. So eight stages we're gonna go through. So let's go start with stage number one. All right, to make this, we'll place this uh, bamboo stairs upside down, two blocks above the ground, sign the front, and then wall blocks behind it, two blocks long, stairs, and then slabs right there on the side, grindstone wheel, fence, fence gates and then build all the rest and this prismarine brick slab is going to be five blocks long in the back part and also add in the wheels on the side just uh, have a gap of space and add in that polished blacks and bricks one and then lever like this so that should be pretty much uh the base model so for step number two we're going to start building up more to the side of it so these are going to be back-to-back -back stairs so as you can see here back to back and then we'll add in some fence gates here on the sides of it as also is uh, prismarine brick slabs and this part's going to go seven blocks long like this. And we'll add in that warp signs to the side of it just to add in that Shipanov gun like that. And add in the landing gear, just fence gate here and then slab walls. And we'll also start to work on the bottom of uh, the external fuel drop tank. So it's going to be this gap here and then four iron trap doors and then bamboo slabs on the side. And for this lever, I guess we don't really need it on this step yet. Then for the other side, um, we're just not include that gun. It's only on that side, so this side's more plain looking. So add in, you know, just stairs like this. Got to be cornered here, facing outwards here, and then slabs all the way across to the back part. So that is stage two. Now stage three, we're going to start to work on the cockpit a little bit now. So just build up this area here, adding a 3D effect. And these are all the blocks you need. We'll also add in the rocket pods right over here. So just stairs, two blocks, and then slabs on the ends. And same thing with the fuel drop tank. 
And then a disc daylight detector, a lever underneath, and then here walls on the side. And then in the back section here, just add in the light blue concrete, two blocks here, and then a oh, light blue wall, and then, you know, stairs, slab, trap door, and then do the same thing here in the back. And here's what it looks like onto this side. All right, so now we're up to level four. So just start to build more on top of this cockpit area. And we'll also have this stick that points out just like that. Um, and then we'll also add in black concrete four blocks inside here, do the 3D effect for the windows. So they could be upside down stairs like this. And then add on top green terracotta and then uh, gray concrete, green terracotta again. This middle section, I don't think it really matters like that does not. No one pays attention to that. And then here, just 3D effect here, stairs, wall, and then glass pane here. And you just pretty much build exactly how I have built it. And for the wing itself, you know, here's how it looks like. If you need help, just uh, add in like two slabs here. A slab here, the stairs slab, the yeah, detector. And here's what it looks like on to the other side. This part has some signs, a dark oak sign, chain, and a birch sign here and chain hanging down below on the back part. And here's what it looks like onto this side. All right, so that should be pretty much it. So now for layer number five, we're building even more on top of this. So this is gonna be a dark prismian series, actually upside down cornered. And then we'll add in this bamboo sign to the side of it, 3D effect here, and some more 3D effect like that. You just build exactly how I have shown you. And here's how it looks like onto the other side. Feel free to pause the video. And we're also building on top of the wing here, you know, just a workshop door, green carpet on top and stuff like that. And I guess these are just two slabs. And here's what it looks like over here. All right, so for layer number six, here we go again. Just build, building more on top of this. Um, you know, trap doors like that, you know, stairs inside, a polished black stone brick wall, and add in the 3D effect, you know, the vents, the infrared um, thing, I forgot what it was called to be honest. <laughs> and just build all of this here in the back and finish up the tail, add in and make sure you have the port button there. And here's what it looks like onto the other side. All right. So for our next step, we'll just build even more on top of this, you know, carpet here, anvil, fence gates, you know, trap door and all that detail, as well as some detail in the back, the rear tail rotor blade, just like three blades like that. And uh, once we're done with that, we'll end up with the last step, which is just making the main rotor blades, which is gonna be five of them like that. I'll give you the numbers here. So just add in that polish anisite slab over here and then dark oak trap doors this part's 13 blocks long while on the side this is going to be four three three two and the other side's going to be the same thing four three three two and in the back it's going to be a little bit different see this asymmetrical part so this one's going to be two here one two two one two one like that while the other side's going to be one two one 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 two one one and um, yeah, that should be pretty much it on how to make the Ukrainian ground forces meal me 24p in Minecraft. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure you hit that like button down below. Slava Ukraine, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.